Hello, my name is Steven, and I made up the probability theory video. At this point, I would just love for you to sit back and view a sample demonstration. That way you get to see a little bit of my teaching style. But we get right into it. I'm going to look at a very classic problem. It's called the Monty Hall problem. Monty Hall used to host a game show called Let's Make a Deal. The, one of his games would be as follows. There would be three boxes, numbered one, two, and three. Monty Hall would pick a contestant from the audience and ask them to pick one of the three boxes. One of the boxes has a big prize in it, the other two are empty. Let's say the person picked box one. Monty Hall would then show them another box, a box that they didn't pick. That's a loser. He'd show them a losing box that isn't his, excuse me, that isn't the one you picked. And then Monty Hall would ask you, do you want to keep your box or do you want to switch it? Of course you won't switch it to the one that he just showed you was a losing box. And the question is, what is the probability that you win if you switch? That is, what's the better deal. Should you keep your original box or should you switch? Okay. In the long run, if you play this game long enough, the first box would be your winner one time and the second a winner, excuse me, and the second box would be your winner one time and one time The third box will be a winner. Okay, if you play this game long enough, an equal number of times, one will be a winner, two will be a winner, three will be a winner. In other words, if you play the game three million times, box one would win a million times, box two will have the winning prize a million times, approximately a million times. And box three will have approximately a million wins. Okay, so let's see what happens. Without loss of generality, we can assume you always pick box number one. Now, what is the chances that you would win? Well, let's look at each of the three cases. Since one is a winner, and this is the one you picked, this is the one you picked. Monty is going to show you a loser. Well, there's two losers. For argument's sake, let's say Monty Hall shows you box number two. If you switch, then you lose. Plus, you pick the loser. If you pick box number one, since between two and three, a box you didn't pick, only three is a loser. Monty is going to show you that box three is empty. Now if you switch, you win. You win. Okay. Now in the third case, since you pick box number one, Monty is going to show you two or three. But it has to be a losing box. That's the rule. He's not going to show you the winning boxes, and you'll switch and you'll win. Once they make it a little bit more interesting. So he's going to show you box number two. If you switch, you're going to switch to number three, and you're going to win. One, two, three times. Two out of three times you win. The probability that you win, the vertical line means given that, Given that you switch is 2x3. Let me put it right up here. The probability that you win given that you don't switch. Well, if you didn't switch, the first time you won, the second time you lose, and the third time you lose. You'll lose 2 out of 3 times. That is, you'll win one out of three. So the best strategy is to switch. 
One third if you don't switch, twice that. Two out of three times you'll win if you do switch. This is one way of thinking of this problem. Now we look at another way. So if you switch, you'll win twice as many times. That's good to know, especially if you're going to go on the Let's Make a Deal show. Now, let's look at it a little bit differently. You have box one, you have box two, you have box three. Only one of them is the winner. The probability, the probability that one is the winner is one out of three. This is one out of three. The probability that box one wins is one out of three. Okay. The probability that two or three wins, well, keep in mind that the chances that one wins plus the chances that two is the winner plus the chances that three is the winner must be 100% of the times. One of them is a winner. That's guaranteed. Well, if you come to know this is one third, well, what must this be? One third plus two thirds gives you one. So the probability that two or three is the winner is two thirds. Okay. Now, if Monty Hall now tells you, he's going to tell you that one of these two is a loser. Let's say it's number two. The probability that it wins is zero. Oh, then the probability that this wins must be two-thirds. Because the sum has to be two-thirds. So Monty shows you it's not door number two or door number two or box number two is a loser. If you switch, the probability you win is two-thirds. If you don't switch, the probability you win is one-third. If door box number three he showed you was empty, well, the, the probability of this plus that should be one. If this is empty, the probability that this is the winner is now zero. Probability that's a winner must be two-thirds. Well, if they tell you three is a loser, empty, if you switch, they're going to win. The probability, no matter how you look at it, the prob probability that you win, given that you switch, is two-thirds. And that is greater than the probability if you win, but you don't switch which is one-third. You should switch. Okay, hope you enjoyed this problem. A lot of people insist that it's not true, that it's going to be 50-50. They are wrong. Play this game a number of times. You will see that you will win two out of three times if you play long enough. If you play 300 times, you will not win close to 150 times. You will win closer to 200 times. Okay, thank you for watching my video, and most of all, good luck with your probability course.